it was brought to my attention yesterday. And it's upsetting because, and I'll tell you why. I will, I will go through this and, and tell you why it's upsetting. Um, back in 2018, Ada Brasenio, who is a co-president for Unite Here Local 11, ran for the chair position of the Democratic Party of Orange County. At the time, she was an alternate, I think, to potentially like Jeff Letourneau or somebody. I, I can't remember who. Um, and she came to the PDA Orange County meeting at Ron Verestai's, uh house and uh, pitched her case for why a central committee should vote her for a chair. One of her, um, she was asked during that meeting, what happens if something comes up in central committee that um, is an interest for your union and you need to be neutral on the topic and vote fairly? She told us she would recuse herself from the vote. She assured that meeting that she would recuse herself from the vote. So now what we're seeing happen is um, out of using her political connections, because we have a lot of Democrats in city council positions, Anaheim, Irvine, lots of cities across Orange County. Uh, we just saw her do this in Irvine, and now we're seeing her do it in, in Anaheim. And it is an abuse of power period. Anaheim hotel workers seek $25 an hour hourly wage improvements and safety. Just so you know, I was a team lead on the LA campaign to get a similar, um, it wasn't even close to $25, but we tried to get a similar increase, which it's far more expensive to actually live in Los Angeles than it is to live in Anaheim. I'm just being real with you. Um, I believe it was somewhere around like 1867 or something. I can't remember what it was exactly. But we were trying to get a pay raise for the hotel workers as well. Panic buttons, safety protocols, limit how much they had to do within their shift. And mind you, we were paying our canvassers. <laughs> The canvassers who walked the most dangerous blocks in Los Angeles made $20 an hour and team leads made just about a buck more after you considered that we were on salary and we were working like 66 hours a week. So it, it, it evened out to, we, we made just like a buck more per hour than the canvassers that we were leading, that we were not allowed to hire, fire, or discipline, and we were supposed to do the same job as them at the same time while just checking in with them at breaks and lunchtime for their numbers. How many signatures did you get? Mm. Anaheim, California. Ada Brasenio nearly tears up as she recounts her members' experiences trying to make it financially during the pandemic. Okay. How do you feel about um, somebody who is now permanently disabled from an attack dog because your staff told me to rattle the gate? As the co-president of Unite Here Local 11, the union representing hotel workers across Southern California, Brasenio said many of union members couldn't keep up with rent increases, inflation, and high cost of living in one of the most expensive areas in the United States. Yeah, you know what? Your canvas crew can't either. And we're not making 25 an hour, okay? And we don't have benefits. Your hotel staff does. They have medical. We have to go to ACA and pay out of pocket. What you need to know, Unite Here Local 11 kicked off a campaign initiative seeking better pay and worker protections for hotel attendants, hotel room attendants, and event center workers this week. The union is looking to have room attendant wages increased to $25 an hour and for hoteliers to provide panic buttons. 
I didn't have a panic button when I got attacked. In fact, uh, your 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 staff told me not even to call 911. I got no medical attention that night. I had no police report. We did not have animal control come down. That was your pack. The Anaheim City Council will weigh in on the initiative on May 16th. Well, Dr. Moreno, I know you're not on the City Council anymore, but I have heard that you're behind this as well. And um, I would highly suggest that you alter this bill to um, make it raise the minimum wage for all workers. Because that's what your role is as Democrats in Orange County, is not to specialize stuff for a specific union, but to consider everybody that lives in Anaheim. So you're just going to keep scratching each other's backs like this? If passed, the city would join Los Angeles, Irvine, and Long Beach, among others, in increasing wages and providing better protections for hotel workers. You know what? You guys got to figure out how to separate your hats because it's not cool to do this. You're screwing everybody else. Many of their 32,000 members, she said, are commuting long distances. <laughs> are they? Oh, well, I was commuting an hour and a half to go up to L.A. That was a one way trip. An hour and a half. An hour and a half back, too. And I did so with a massive dog bite on the back of my leg on the night that I was kept through my entire shift and not even dismissed so that I could seek medical attention. Are commuting long distances to and from work, couch surfing, or living in crowded apartments. I'm about to lose my fucking condo, by the way. I've had to tap into my 401k to actually make ends meet. God damn it. In some dire cases, a few are living inside their cars. Yeah, so are the middle medieval times people. Have you considered raising their wages? Like you literally had a dude from medieval times speak at the last central committee and he said they were making $18 an hour. A lot of people in our industry can't make ends meet, Brasenio told Spectrum News on Thursday. Many work two or even three jobs to pay their mortgage or rent and food. I have neighbors and family donating food to me. Yet, she claims the hotel owners who employ the union's members are experiencing record, record profits and a post-pandemic surge of pent-up demand. Many hotels, she said, need to hire more staff, but have yet to do so, putting a strain on those who are working. You know, part of that measure, I don't know if they've done this in Anaheim, but the one that we were walking also included that you can't put up the do not disturb sign anymore. You're on a romantic vacation with your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatnot. You can't put up the do not disturb sign anymore because they want the, um, the hotel workers to be able to come in and clean every single day. Because apparently, if you put up the do not disturb sign, reuse your towels, and just, you know, want to have an uninterrupted vacation, that somehow dirties the room more so than if you let them come in every day. Right? Uh, Many hotels, she said, need to hire more staff, but have yet to do so, putting a strain on those who are working. That's a fair argument. That's fair. Appropriately staff your, your hotels, sure. But why are you using your position as chair of the Democratic Party of Orange County to advance the issues of your union rather than fight for all workers? And why do you have a PAC who abuses your workers? We didn't even, we were not even 
encouraged to call 911 when guns were flashed at my canvassers. We were in a very unsafe situation and we had no safety protocols. But I guess only people who pay dues get protection, right? And we were not offered an, an opportunity to actually be a part of the union. We were not offered union membership by walking those blocks. This really pisses me off. And, you know, it was brought to me by a central committee member who um, we have all supported and backed out of for years. And everybody's seeing it now. Everybody's getting disgusted with the way this works. We're all finding out about it. We're all reading articles like this and wondering what the fuck. Why, why aren't other workers getting protected? Why is it only hotel workers? Why weren't the canvassers protected? Why aren't the Medieval Times sta um, uh, performers getting protected? Why, why aren't just regular other workers in Anaheim getting protected? Why is this so constantly targeted specifically at union dues paying members and DPOC members are being used to advance these issues. We need room attendants to be compensated for the extra work they are doing, she said. Yeah, well, y'all didn't compensate me for the extra work I did for you. With the pandemic over and tourism rebounding, hotel and event center workers in Anaheim are looking to the city council to bring long-standing issues of pay inequality and worker safety prevalent in the industry to the forefront. Some of my um, canvassers got stocked in turf, by the way. And when one of them called me on my day off, and I handled the situation by putting her in touch with the right people who were in charge that day. I then got scolded for working on my day off. This is during the same time period that my pay was getting docked. Every time the upper leadership told me to go to the doctor. This was during the time that they put me on a Monday through Friday schedule, 8 to 5.30 or whatever it was, um, so that any time I had to go to physical therapy, my pay got docked, despite the fact that everybody else on the campaign had the option of working Tuesday through Sunday, right? Or, no, I'm sorry, we had uh, Thursdays and Fridays off. We had Thursdays and Fridays off. Not the team leads. No, no. We only got one. We got either Thursday or Friday. The Canvas staff got Thursdays and Fridays. With the pandemic over. <laughs> okay. And tourism rebounding. Hotel and event center workers in, Ana in Anaheim are looking to the city council to bring longstanding issues of pay inequality and worker safety prevalent in the industry to the forefront. The hotel workers in Anaheim look to join their counterparts in Irvine, Long Beach, and Los Angeles, which have passed similar worker improvements, protections, and wage hikes. And also Laguna Beach. I worked on that campaign. Glendale. I worked on that campaign. And I think you all have West Hollywood too. That happened before I was on board. But it was done by the pack. It wasn't done through manipulation of your position as chair on the central committee. Our workers need relief now, she said. For the past couple of months, the union began gathering signatures for an initiative requiring Anaheim hotels and spaces that book conferences and events to pay a $25 hourly wage that increases annually to reflect inflation and better worker safety. I'm not a, opposed to the idea of a, a wage raise for hotel workers, 
but I wonder why you would use temporary employment loopholes for the pack that is employing people through Craigslist and word of mouth and putting people at risk every goddamn day. You pay us less than that. Even the team leads got paid less than that. In March, the union submitted more than 26,000 signatures for the so-called Hotel Housekeeper Bill of Rights after the city and Orange County Registrar's Office certified the 16,842 needed signatures. Yeah, they always like to try and go over so they have some cushion. The initiative heads to the Anaheim City Council. The City Council will decide on May 16th whether to adopt the initiative and make it into a city ordinance. Let voters decide in a 2024 election or instruct city staff to study its fiscal impact. Yeah, I don't know if you're going to get this one. I mean, you have gotten a lot of people onto Anaheim City Council, so you might be able to pull some strings, but... Uh, that's a pretty sizable minimum wage compared to what you're paying your own canvas staff and what other people make in Anaheim. So I, I just don't know that you're going to get that done, especially in the method that it's being done, which seems really corrupt. The initiative would impact all 152 hotels and motels in the city and motels. Mm. You know, that's interesting because some of the other measures we were walking um, excluded smaller motels. That's interesting. Um, the initiative would impact all 152 hotels and motels in the city and event centers such as Honda Center, Angel Stadium, and the Anaheim Convention Center. Hospitality workers who make beds, cook meals, serve coffee, wash dishes, and cater to thousands of guests who travel to Anaheim's tourist attractions deserve to be able to afford to live in the city they work. Union officials said in a news release, Anaheim now has the opportunity to set an example for a successful major tourist city in Orange County. Except you don't want to pay your canvassers that much, right? You don't want to pay your door knockers that much. And we are in much more dangerous situations. Nazis observed us. Guns flashed at us. Canvassers stalked in the field. An attack dog bit the back of my leg and permanently damaged me. Visit Anaheim CEO and President Jay Burris said the city needs to look into the economic impact of raising wages. Visit Anaheim is the city's tourism bureau and runs the convention center. While our organization doesn't have a position on the initiative, the safety of our industry's workforce is always paramount to us said Burris in a statement to Spectrum News. Visit Anaheim does have some concerns, though, about the potential economic impact this initiative could have, especially as our destination is still recovering from the pandemic. So we are in support of the city of Anaheim conducting an economic study on the impact of this initiative. This initiative could have to better understand potential implications. California Hotel and Lodging Association spokesperson Pete Hillen said if the union's initiative passes, it could have dire consequences for many mom and pop and small business hotels and motels. It also could de -incent disincentivize hotel investors to invest in the city. I doubt that. <laughs> Give me a goddamn break. You have Disneyland. Disneyland hasn't even been mentioned in this article yet. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> Kidding me? You have you have a hockey stadium, 
uh, which also could be b- basketball. You've got a baseball stadium, and you have Disneyland <laughs> all in the fucking same city. And you're like, I don't know if we can afford this. <laughs> you're renting the parking lot to Disneyland for like a buck a year, and they're charging $20 per car for <laughs> sake. Give me a goddamn break. And those rooms are hundreds of dollars. Those rooms are fucking hundreds of dollars. When people think of hotels, many think of JW Marriott's or the big companies. But in reality, many of these hotels are owned by mom and pops and small operators. Said Hillen to Spectrum News, a $25 minimum wage is a significant increase. No hotel, let alone any business, can take on that sudden price increase. No, they can. They can. Hotel operators in Anaheim are making a lot of goddamn money. Give me a break. That is a tourist destination. A national tourist destination. They can absolutely afford to pay that. And they can afford to pay it throughout the city for all employees, not just hotel employees. And Unite Here is a large union. They can afford to pay their canvas staff more and treat them with better respect. Fuck's sake. The union and its supporters kicked off their campaign Wednesday in front of the Anaheim Hilton next to the convention center. Yeah, we've protested there a few times, right? Bersenio said, along with the pay raise, the initiative would require hoteliers to protect their workers better. (sighs) Once I got injured, upper leadership ghosted me. They ghosted me, and they would only speak to me in pairs. Hoteliers must provide a personal security device like a panic button. Have a security guard assigned to receive calls from the device. Have signage installed to warn guests not to exhibit threatening behavior. And host annual safety training. Yeah, it would have been nice if you all let us call 911 when we were being attacked in, in the field. But oh no. I was told by my boss he didn't trust the police. Also, hoteliers cannot require a room attendant or workers to work more than 10 hours and eliminate burdensome room cleaning quotas. Brisenio said... Many hotels eliminated daily room cleaning during the pandemic, meaning the rooms are cleaned every other day or three days or so. That's three or four days worth of mess and soap scum in sinks. Oh my God. And bathtubs. Like literally, have you actually stayed in a hotel? It doesn't fucking clog up that much. Holy shit. I can't even go have a romantic holiday. Because I can't put up the do not disturb sign. Y'all just going to come in the bust in the room and clean up anyway. That is one portion of the measure I really didn't agree with when I was running, when I was walking the, like, seriously. Um, usually if I'm in a hotel, it's because I'm on holiday with, with a gentleman caller, shall you say. And you know what? I don't want people busting into my room and cleaning it while I'm enjoying my partner. That's three or four days worth of mess and soap scum and sinks and bathtubs, she said. Rooms are taking longer to clean. No, they're not. Give me a break. Three days is nothing. You don't even clean your own house that often. And you fucking live in your house. They are picking up three to five wet towels on the floor. The work is much heavier than it used to be. That is such fucking over-dramatization. You don't even clean your house that frequently. 
And most people aren't even in the, in the room all day. You know, most people are actually like there on a vacation going out and doing other things. <laughs> There's no fucking way you're going to have that much soap scum in three goddamn days. The initiative is part of a larger trend of cities deciding on hotel worker pay hikes and safety measures. Last November, Irvine became the first city in Orange County to pass protection from sexual harassment and other worker improvements for hotel workers. Yeah, it was really fucking awkward to see you talk about that at Central Committee. Call on Tammy Kim, who isn't even a Central Committee member, by the way, and say, Tammy, I expect that you're going to vote in favor of this. <laughs> It's fucking weird, dude. That was bizarre. I mean... <laughs> I was all for promoting the, the the rights of hotel workers as I walked for Unite Here Local 11. But once I realized that that's all they care about, they didn't care about their canvas staff, they, they were throwing us to the wolves. Holy shit. Here I am, still crippled. With a permanent lip, limp. Um, I have trouble with stairs. I have trouble getting up and down out of a chair. And I have a permanent limp. But the canvas staff doesn't fucking matter. Because we were temporary workers. We didn't even have job descriptions. So when I needed to get modified duties because I was injured... They were unwilling to tell me what anybody else did so that there were no options for me. They put me in the most hostile, stressful position where my body tensed up and exacerbated the injury. Nice work, y'all. <sighs> Irvine joined other cities such as Long Beach, Santa Monica, Los Angeles, Glendale, and West Hollywood. See, like, they, yeah, there was a lot of different cities, and they're not, they're, they're not giving a comprehensive list. They're listing different cities at different parts of the article to pass similar protections and some wage increases for hotel workers. Oh, you want to talk about how the wage increases were different? Because they're quite a bit different. There we go. It's coming. In 2022, voters in Laguna Beach overwhelmingly voted against a similar measure and an $18 minimum wage increase for the beach. Oh, so it did go to the ballot. I helped get that on the ballot. I, in fact, there were days when I was walking by myself. I was the only one who showed up to walk. I did that for months. And there were times when I was literally doing it alone to get those signatures. So it did go to the ballot, and it got voted down. That's a shame. This is a real shame. Wow. Disappointing, you guys. Very disappointing that you can't protect the people that actually walked the shit for you. And you're, you're just using fucking connections at uh, a central committee to get this shit done now. There should be a separation. These are two different hats. This should be separate. 